to a lot of people over the years, not only through their production of an excellent ale, but also because they had the most eccentric and eclectic group of buildings, which I could even describe as promiscuous. It uses every kind of architectural style to make what is a factory building utterly delightful. Um, it's more about what the feeling of having drunk the beer than having made it. The only unfortunate thing about this very large brewery in the town was that it cut off the railway station from the market and the centre of town completely. And so it's always historically been tricky to get to the station. Now this project gives us a chance to open up that route again, or for the first time in fact, from the centre of town to the station. And in doing so, we're able to provide the most terrific mixed-use scheme because people are going to be passing by and again, this is going to be a very important part of the town. We can extend shopping from the town centre to the station, which I believe will be completely successful, and provide something which Dorchester hasn't got, which is a gorgeous public square. Blending yeah. traditional and contemporary design is one of the things that uh, we're particularly interested in at Conrad and Partners. So when the opportunity came up to work with the listed buildings at Brewery Square, we were really excited. It's a it's a fantastic site. With a, the, the buildings have a very wide variety of styles. So for us, it was a really lovely opportunity. The Eldridge Pope building sits on Weymouth Avenue, right at the entrance to the site. Uh, like many of the other buildings uh, of the brewery, it was designed by Crick May and Partners in 1880. has an Italianate style, it's like an Italianate villa. We've put into this building uh, a number of really generously proportioned apartments. To create the entrance to the apartments from Eldridge Mews, we stripped away a number of later additions to the original building and we replaced these with uh, three new build elements using materials that we can find elsewhere on the site glazed brick, and patinated copper, the render. In effect, this elevation acts as a microcosm for the rest of the site, exuberant new build set in the context of beautifully restored historic fabric. Weymouth Avenue is the route from the town centre to Brewery Square and along it we have now the most eclectic mixture of buildings imaginable. We have uh, a brilliant new health centre which is fresh, light, open, has a great feeling of health about it. <laughs> um, we have the fabulous Italianate villa of the Eldridge Pope original building. Then we have this extraordinary Egyptian addition to the bonded stores which is another extremely decorative uh, Victorian construction and as we go along Weymouth Avenue, we find next to that uh, the cinema entrance with its rich Art Deco canopy and next to that perhaps the bizarrest building that I've designed in this scheme which is a mixture of Gothic and modern but I think you can see why because within the context of the existing buildings this is just another idea. a real warmth and richness by using a range of high quality natural materials. A walnut, deep walnut on the, the doors, the floors and the cabinetry, and a rich travertine stone in the bathrooms with fittings by Ben Delisi. existing station road, uh, you can see that there's a new station and the existing rather diminutive 
brick box is being demolished and we're going to produce the most gorgeous uh, uh, and attractive new station which is um, powered by photovoltaics on the roof, hence this extravagant curved roof above the glassy entrance. Indeed, the street lighting is also uh, controlled by photovoltaics and in the whole project has a very strong green credentials. for the hotel is centred around a spectacular four-storey glazed atrium. The restaurant and bar face out south across the life and activity of the square and in the lower ground floor there's a health spa and a swimming pool that uses water from the original spring that supplied the brewery. The Maltings Arts will provide a, a 440 seat theatre and 120 seat studio with bars, bookshop and cafe. It's set to become the cultural hub of Dorchester.